Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and today Leonardo is going to bring it to you a water damage device Samsung Galaxy A31. It's very important when we deal with wet devices to remove the battery in the first few minutes. Knowing that one of my colleagues has disconnected the battery connector one day before, so we won't take long with the disassembly process. Here I leave you the first trick. In order to limit the damages, you need to disconnect the battery connector just when the wet devices get in your workshop. After extract the back cover, we remove these 15 screws. Don't forget to extract the SIM card tray. Now we can remove the middle casing. In approximately 20 seconds, we remove the motherboard, the main board flex, and the charging dock connector. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? Yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing, new focus, no guessing, just bought an obsession, all in his possession. You got the retention, I'll leave an impression and take a redemption, just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon. 11 like I was saying before, the first visual inspection is very important. Using a microscope with 45x magnification, you can work perfectly. We inspect the middle frame chassis on the top part. We've got good news. The humidity sticker is in a perfect state. It has no signs of humidity. Behind the sticker, it has red color paint and when the device is in contact with liquids, change its color. Causes mayhem, we could change the world, change times, rearrange them. Staying on pace, running the race, life is a chase. I don't want to place, I want to be first. Work till it hurts, dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse. Now we are going to analyze the lower part where, as you can see, things change because we've got enough corrosion. But according with my experience, no connector is irreparable. This one is the FPC connector from the screen. Because it moves a lot of voltage, the short circuit is relevant. In another class, I told you before that the screen lead a lot of voltage. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for. We are inspecting other elements. Here, for example, we've got the upper part of the main flex. We continue our visual inspection with the bottom part of the flex. As you can see, the connector of the left part is perfect. Instead, the one from the right part has corrosion. I swear to God, they all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm pissed off at these fucking clouds. Here we have the charging dock connector. It seems unbroken without water damages. We return to our motherboard. We'll have to take a closer look to the metal shields. If the motherboard has entered in contact with liquids, then we always find marks. As you can see, the motherboard is clean and we've got no signs of humidity. To clean the damaged connector, we'll use this chemical liquid, Ticopur 77. If the connector doesn't have too much corrosion, we can use contact cleaner as well. I swear to God they all let me down 
We start our cleaning process using a piece of cotton and tea copper. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. To remove the oxide, we can leave the connector during two minutes with the chemical liquid. Now we can use the contact cleaner to clean the connector well. To shine these two pins, we'll use a precision file. I'll share a link from where to buy it in the description of this video. The connector looks like this. We continue with the APC connector of the screen. We follow the same steps. First, we use Tico Pour and then we clean it with contact cleaner. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Let's check the fingerprint connector as well. It's like new. Everything has its logic. Where we have had the highest voltage, we have had a short circuit. Over time, you'll solve lots of failures just using your experience. You will know to decide when you should proceed with the cleaning process or not. You'll find cases that aren't worth it. We use a surgical scalpel to remove the oxide left. If you like this type of content, please give it a strong like and in this way I'll perform for you real reparations that we have in our workshop. Thank you! Now let's inspect the pads. Need a cup of blend, that's right. In the AM, that's my only friend. No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon. I lose track of time, yeah. I move fast and climb. A new class divine, yeah. A true passion shines, and I'm through passing time. I choose second time. This pad and the next one moves. We need to repair it. Every day, I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. In the first step, with the tip of the scalpel, we remove the layer of corrosion. Because if we don't remove it, it's practically impossible for the solder lid to grab. We apply a little flux and 183 Celsius degrees solder paste. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase me. With the type of the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees, we solder the pads. For this process, we have to use the thinnest tip of the soldering iron. Remember that the flux is our friend in the whole process. In this way, the pads don't join together. We check all the pads of the connector from one side to the other. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides with me. No Everything seems perfect. Let's assemble the device, check it, and see if we found some more surprise. 
Here we've got the screen connector that is 100% cured. We connect the charger and check the charge. We've got good news. We can see image on the screen. The charge is not ok, but with a reboot will recover it. Don't forget that we are talking about a water damage device where the voltages and data has gone crazy. Very often in the comment section you are asking us how much we have charged for this repair, so I'm going to answer you now. The price of this repair here in Spain is about 50 euros. So, encourage yourself to learn how to repair mobiles and earn some extra money. I said it before, 60% of the repairs are easy ones, similar to the one we just presented. With some knowledge, you can offer solution to your customers. Touch works too, which is another good news. After 5 minutes, the device charges perfectly. Guys, he is Leonardo and this was today's video. Thanks for watching as always. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Bye bye. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing.